So I'm Dr. Robert Applegate. I'm one of the interventional cardiologists here at Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center. I'm the director of the cardiac catheterization laboratories. Well, the cath lab is the area in the hospital where we perform the diagnostic procedures to evaluate different types of cardiac diseases. Probably the most common is a patient who may have a threatened heart attack looking for blockages. Uh, but we also bring together a number of different physicians with the institution who are interested in both cardiac uh, and vascular diseases, including uh, pediatric surgeons, uh, cardiac surgeons, uh, as well as uh, the vascular surgeons. In general, we, we sort of divide this into patients who come to the uh, hospital for uh, an emergency or urgent uh, need. Oftentimes those patients are having a threatened heart attack, and we treat many patients who have heart attacks right here in the cath lab, open up blockages, this is where we perform the stent procedures that allow us to do that. Now, right now, we're standing in the uh, middle of the hybrid catheterization laboratory. This is where uh, we can perform surgical procedures that uh, routinely would be only normally performed in the operating room. This, this room is uh, fitted to all the standards that exist for, for operating rooms. At the same time, we have all the equipment that we have in a standard cath lab. So it's enabled us to bring innovative techniques such as transcatheter aortic valve implantation, uh, to uh, patients who come to our hospital. In the past several years here at uh, Wake Forest, we have been looking at uh, innovative ways to perform cardiac catheterizations. Uh, and one of the ways to do that, which is safer uh, and more comfortable for the patient, is through the artery in the wrist. Uh, many of you may have heard that's called radial artery catheterization, and that now is the preferred way that, that we do this. These patients, uh, unlike patients who have this done from the artery in the top of the leg, uh, can be cared for uh, in a uh, less invasive, less intensely monitored area. We are excited that uh, we have a newly renovated area, which we call the radial lounge. Uh, here the patients are able to uh, sit up, watch TV, walk around, uh, because the uh, way that we manage uh, the place where we put the tube in is with a simple band on their wrist, unlike the, uh, the patients that had this performed from the artery in the top of the leg where they lay down uh, for up to one to two hours and recover that way. We're very excited about this. We're one of the few centers uh, in the region that have this, and I think uh, the patients and their families are very excited uh, about the opportunity to have a less invasive and safer procedure.